Okay, well, I was cut off really abruptly there. I don't, I don't want to go over the 15 minutes. I hope I can trim it to get it in. But, um, yeah, you got the point, you know. It's interesting. You might think, well, why would uh, they be interested in you or, or uh, and these things, you know, because the, only the famous people are drawing the attention. But Paul makes a, a good, interesting point over here uh, in, in Second Corinthians, the sixth chapter. Said in verse four, it said, "But in all things, approving ourselves as, uh, as the ministers of God, in much patience means endurance of much, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses. I've experienced all those things many times, you know. In stripes, beatings. I've been beaten by gangs. I've been beaten walking through down uh, up through an alley, you know." imprisonments and tumults and, and yeah, a lot of tumults and labors a lot of labors you know and watchings and fastings by pureness by knowledge by long suffering by kindness by the holy ghost by love unfeigned by the word of truth by the power of god by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left by honor and dishonor things they say by evil report and good report yes as deceivers and yet true as unknown unknown in this world and yet well known that's the point see who are you well known by well when you have people that spy on you uh, uh, people that call the police on you a lot um, uh, people that hound you, that come around and try to listen, that, that, that talk about you behind your back. Like when you have a lot of enemies, you know, David says, that my enemies are more than the hairs of my head, you know. You're well known by them and their secret societies. But among the, the public media, you are unknown because they don't want you on there, you know. As dying and behold, we live. We live through it, yeah, we keep going as chastened, chastened by God, and not killed, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing all things, as poor, making many rich, you know, uh, the word gets out, you know, and that's why I keep making these videos, there are those that, that glean certain points from it and then then they take it to a, a, a higher uh, uh, commercial type of level a visual you know that know how to edit and do all these computer things you know and having nothing and possessing all things you know when you have when you have the knowledge of God and the uh, uh, insight you possess all things you know so that's the point that was the interesting thing I was trying to bring out and yes, Jesus said, and, a, and after the tribulation of those days, the, the sun shall be dark, and the moon shall not give forth her life, and the stars of heaven shall fall, you know. And uh, so there's going to be a lot of signs to come, you know. I, I, I don't know what's coming, but I have to say, at least what I, what I see and what I, uh, I perceive, you know. I can't keep quiet about that, so we'll see what happens. But you take a look at the ends of the Gentile times. Let's see what let's see what happens because uh, how many people are aware? But but there's there's this vibration like from the Alex Jones show and a, a couple other places. I'm getting these people that are like, wow, something's really bound to happen. You know, what do you think? Do you think something's really right bound to happen? I want to know. You know, the few people that watch these videos, give me a little feedback. What do you think? I'd like to know what you think because. Before I listen to a few of these people, I, like I don't watch the regular news, but I get lit on the internet. And what Alex Jones is saying is like, wow, man, this thing is really like an alarm coming. And when one side beefs it up and the other side reacts, you're getting closer, you know. I mean, if one side was saying, well, you know, they're get, they went out Trump and everything, and the other, person, the other side was just like, well, we're just going to you know keep praying and stuff well then you you know then that one side that's coming after the trump people can just change their mind because there's no resistance but when you have a resistance that's why jesus resists not them that are evil you know 
But it, when you have the resistance, then it, then it it propels the other side even more. It's like hatred begets hatred, you know. And so uh, it's interesting what what's going on, you know. And I'd like your feedback and what your what you've seen, what you felt, or what you think even. And um, I pray for you all. To, to, uh, the ones that are righteously inclined. I don't know why the people that there are some people that were like um, befriended me, and then all of a sudden they tell me that they think Trump is evil. And uh, well, it's possible, but I mean, are you for Hillary? That's the thing, you know. If you chosen the devil side, man, that that is bad news if you do that. So um, yeah, and then they said I'm evil too, you know. So, uh, just enjoy. We'll just see what happens. There's a lot of spies, man. A lot of traitors, you know. Many people shall cleave to them with flatteries, it says. And, uh, uh, you know, they will try to bring as many into apostasy as they can. Many against God, you know, as they can. I wouldn't touch that filthy side. They make me so sick. I mean, I've been so far away from there for so long, you know. I mean, how could I ever turn on on people, people that I love, that God loves, I would never turn on anyone, you know, and, um, but those that, I've been in contact with many of those evil people that set about you like the, the bulls of Bashan, you know, and like wild dogs, like wild wolves, you know, and, um, you know, when people start acting like wolves, man, that's, you know, they're hungry for a prey, you know, they're predators, and, it's not my personality, you know. So the, the personality of the the Christian is to be uh, wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. That's we, because we love peace, man. We love peace. Love is the way. So we try to spread love. That's how you gain people. It's not by fighting them. You you, uh, you gain people to the to the way of God with love, because that's the greatest thing there is. How who wants to live in a world full of hatred and and contention and and uh, fighting and, and, and upset, it's upsetting, you know, but that's why uh, I liked a lot of music in the 60s and things like that, because it was all so much about love, you know, and the good music by like the Beatles, you know, like John Lennon, George Harrison, and, uh, so many, so much good music, it was something happening then, you know, and I still listen to that music, I still like that music, because nothing else compares to it, you know. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, the, the answers are there, you know, it's, it is all about love, you know, like John, the, the Apostle John, before he died, they said his final words were to love one another, you know, I was reading also George Harrison, his final words before his death was also love one another, he turned to Christianity, they don't report that, but he turned to Christianity before his death and gave up the paganism. I wish they would report that more, but you can find it, but they're not advertising, yeah? and who knows, maybe they're afraid, you know, people are afraid to come out in favor of Jesus Christ, which is real sad, man, because he did, Jesus said, he's ashamed of me and my words, I will also be ashamed of him before my father and before the angels of heaven, so, um, it's sad, you know, that part, when people are like that, that's, that's sad, they lose their soul, to try to gain this world. They didn't have so much in this world. I have nothing. Um, I have no, no uh, uh, love for this world at all. Uh, for the kingdom of God. God bless you. I pray for you.